Hi everyone, and welcome to my first video on this new channel. I've had my own 3D printers for about two years now, and I was eager to get started making my own videos, as I had found a lot of helpful information about 3D printing here on YouTube myself. And let me start today with this, which is my Monoprice Select Mini version 2, and it was the first 3D printer that I had bought. And as you can see here, I recently had it almost fully disassembled for some maintenance. Part of the maintenance it required were the bearings, which are two LML6UU bearings on the x-axis rods and two LML8UU bearings on the bed, which are installed in these blocks. I didn't have the tools at home to remove them from the blocks as they are pressed in quite firmly. And because of the less than ideal friction, you can by now see that they have left some marks in the steel rods. And so, since these bearings were making a lot of trouble for me with the prints, I want to replace them now by my own 3D printed polymer bushings, which this video will be about. And I've recently received the shipment of this, a roll of Iglidor I-150 by the German company Igus. Igus specializes in polymers for low friction applications. I've had a sample pack of this before and it was very promising. Igus produces and offers several different filaments for 3D printing, of which the Iglidor I-150 is the simplest and easiest to print with. They supply it with a little card that lists some specifications, for example a nozzle temperature of about 250 degrees Celsius, a bed temperature between 20 and 50 degrees Celsius, and it also says that the recommended printing service for a heated bed will be either Biltec um, or a glue stick on glass. And the latter is also what I'm using on my current printer, an Ender 3 Pro, which I've modified with things such as TMC2208 stepper drivers, an X-axis belt tensioner, and what I've just installed yesterday, a metal dual gear extruder and Capricorn tubing. These upgrades were definitely worth it for me and I can recommend it to you if you have an Ender 3 to do them yourselves. So for a first print with the Iglido filament, I decided to print a little cube which you can see here in the Cura preview. I've started out with a slightly lower temperature than recommended, i.e. 240 degrees Celsius, because I recall from the sample pack I had a while ago that I'd used a bit less. I hadn't bothered to clean the nozzle properly, so there was black PLA mixed in, which led to this breakup of the base layer, and I also aborted the print to look at the infill. Everything so far looked very smooth, the infill was great, and the outside was also very nice and clean. Printing with this filament seems as easy as using PLA. So I decided to move on to the actual bearing blocks. Here you can see a model that I made using Blender of the bearing block which I'm going to print. It's based on the stock bearing blocks supplied with a monoprice and I've made it as long as possible so to give it maximum stability. The print went very well and I made two versions of it, one with a layer height of 0.2 millimeter and one with a layer height of 0.1 millimeter and both turned out great. The one you can see here is the version with 0.2 millimeter layer height and there's actually only very little layering visible and also it feels extremely smooth. Have a look at this macro image of the version with 0.1 millimeter layer height and the magnification on the left to show how smooth it is. Initially when trying to push the rod inside now there was still a good amount of friction present. However this quickly smoothed out with just 5 minutes of pushing the rod back and forward and turning it slightly. The friction was then so low that when holding the assembly vertically, the block would slide down under its own weight. Afterwards I went on to print the LML 6U bearings which was just as easy and they fit on the rods very well and also on their own went very smoothly. Installation into the x-axis carriage was just as easy and thanks to the tight tolerances that I had achieved with the IGUS filament, it fit immediately. When I then tried to install the x-axis carriage on the x-axis rods, I did have a bit of a problem with very large friction. However, this was not due to the Iglido filament, but it was actually because the assembly of the monoprice is not very good and not very stable, and you can slightly twist the whole assembly and those create additional friction on the bearing. And here you can see it in action after reassembly and except for some problems with the initial layer in this print, it now runs very smoothly without noise from the bearings. So then, thank you for watching my first video. 
I hope you enjoyed it and that you found some helpful information for your own 3D printing. See you next time.